Hi, good day everyone. And for today's lesson, we're going to discuss the human circulatory system. And for our learning competencies, we're going to identify the major components of the circulatory system and explain the different types of circulation. The circulatory system is the life support structure that nourishes your cells with nutrients from the food you eat and oxygen from the air you breathe. It can be compared to a complex arrangement of highways, avenues, and lanes connecting all the cells together in a neighborhood. Sequentially, the community of cells sustains the body to stay alive. Another name for the circulatory system is the cardiovascular system. The circulatory system functions with other body systems to deliver different materials in the body. It circulates vital elements such as oxygen and nutrients. And last, the capillaries, the smallest blood vessels in the body, connecting the small arteries, the smallest veins, the actual site where gases and nutrients are exchanged. And the last component of circulatory system is blood. Blood carries the materials throughout the body. Now, those are the three major components of circulatory system again first we have heart second we have blood vessels and blood vessels divide into three parts first we have arteries second we have veins third we have capillaries and next and last for our major component we have blood let us explain the different types of circulation we have three types of circulation first pulmonary circulation now what is pulmonary circulation it is a movement of blood from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart second we have coronary circulation it is a movement of blood through the tissues of the heart and the last type of circulation we have systemic circulation it is a movement of blood from the heart to the rest of the body excluding the lungs to check your understanding about our lesson let us have this activity entitled let's organize the objective of this activity is to identify the components of the circulatory system and explain the different types of circulation. Now, here is the procedure. Using the given graphic organizer, fill in the missing parts, description, and function to complete the entire concept. Here is the graphic organizer. We have 1 to 10 items. All you need to do, again, is to fill in the missing parts, description, and functions to complete the entire concept. 
base and out. Congratulations students for finishing this lesson. I hope you learned something for this topic and once again thank you and God bless.